So welcome to Physics One. This is one of the sections of introductory physics. My name is Jan Tabachnik. Uh, I normally teach at a small college in the United States called Kalamazoo College. And I will be teaching uh, along with uh, Dr. Chan Tae Wu. I will be teaching this section of introductory physics. So this section has the advantage of being taught in English. So in addition to you learning physics, you will also hopefully improve your ability to communicate in English. Uh, I think that's a big advantage because one of the things that I see as very important in physics is that physics is all about translations. We have the real world out there where there are objects moving in space, and we try to describe that. The first thing we do is we describe it in ordinary language, like English or Chinese. Then we make that language a little bit more technical. Right? We use words slightly differently. So if, for example, the word energy means something in everyday language, but it means something a lot more specific and a little more technical in physics. So we have to be able to translate from ordinary language to physics language. After that, we want to translate the knowledge we see in description using English or Chinese. We have to use other kinds of languages. The ones you're familiar with are mathematics. Another one is drawing pictures or animations. Another language is drawing plots, diagrams. And one of the things that I'm going to focus on in this course is the ability to move from one kind of language to another. And that involves translation. So you have an advantage that you already know another language. You know Chinese and you know English. I see that as an advantage because Chinese is slightly different than English. And if you can look at the same phenomena and think about it in physics using thinking about it in Chinese and then thinking about it in English, you're already doing some of this translation which will give you a deeper insight into what we're uh, trying to understand. So the topics we'll be studying in this course are classical mechanics, waves, a little bit with fluids, and then we'll end with thermodynamics. OK, so that is what the course is about. But what we're trying to achieve is a little different than what you may think. I am not so interested, and I don't want you to focus on just learning some new facts about the world, some new physics facts, for instance. I'm not even that interested in your ability to plug in numbers and do little calculations. What I'm really interested in and what you want to develop is the ability to understand the physical world as deeply as possible. And that's going to entail not just using mathematics, but also explaining what you're doing in English. Okay? And that's going to be a big part of this course. Right? So this translation idea is key to a deeper understanding of physics. Mm -hmm.